Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Happy Love People, thank you so much for clicking on my video. It's Liza Lab, and welcome to my channel. Woo! So, as you can see, this is gorgeous. I look stunning, I look all types of fine. Purr, purr. Um, so, this is an old wig that I reinstalled. I really, really love the look. If you want to know how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. It's free. If you're new here, please do well to stay. I hate you, D. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. I'm not going to um, glue it down with like a ghost bond or anything like that. And I'm not doing a bolt cut thing properly, no. I'm gonna take it afterwards because I'm not trying to wear a wig all week. So yeah, let's 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 start this. I'm gonna be applying my uh, got to be glue. I've never used this, I normally use the black one, but my friend said this is better. Julie, shout out Julie, we're gonna try this. Make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Be a good day. So guys, I realized that this head was not sticking so I went in with some more glue Ideally my friend said she literally would do it three or four times the more toppings the longer um, it stays But as I explained it earlier, I'm literally gonna be taking this wig off after today's um, video So I wasn't trying to do too much, but I realized one um, Layer was not enough. So I've just gone in to do a second layer the right side's dried a bit I'm gonna go ahead and do the side. And now I just need to like apply, apply some glue on this side. I try not to put too much glue here because you know when you're washing your wig, yeah? And you're trying to get all the glue out. It just takes bare long. Right, this is what we're dealing with right now. We're gonna sort it, don't worry. We're gonna sort it. So I'm gonna try and find where my old baby hairs are and then I'm gonna try and slick the baby hairs and then I'm gonna band it down. So for the look I'm doing, I'm doing a side part but I still wanna have baby hairs on both sides. So it needs to stick mama, we need to stick doll in. We found the baby hairs. We have. Yesterday I went to the shop and I knew I needed to get I bought some gel, hair gel and stuff like that. You know, the usual stuff that you get from the hair shop. And I just knew there was something missing. It was mousse. It was bloody mousse. So I'm going to have to use, I'm going to use styling gel. So, um, I'm using this gummy professional to do my edges. I think mousse is better because it gives it a more cleaner finish. Um, but as I say, I don't really have a mousse at the moment. I ran out and I completely forgot to buy to buy it. Well, completely forgot to buy some. I love my fluffy um, edges. These type of um, edges, people be hating on them. I'm like, girl, the wig is fake. So if I want to make my baby hairs extra fake, I'm gonna do it. Like no one should stop me. Well, no one can stop me really. <laughs> Um, there's no laws against doing what you want with your hair, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do me. Thingy. <laughs> I also feel like sometimes it depends on the occasion. I found like a lot of brides when they have their installs, they don't have the uh, extra baby hairs, and I feel like that's a perfect occasion not to have too much. But that's my opinion. Do you know what I mean? Like, but I just don't get the hate when people are like, oh. Why are you putting that, this much baby hairs? I'm not gonna lie, it's cute! I think it's cute, don't you guys think? Why are you just gonna hate? Like, don't, stop hating. Stop it. Stop. If I want to make my edges look like that, I'm gonna do that. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> don't start putting a thing there where it's like, now people are feeling uncomfortable to do their edges. Sis, do your edges. Them edges are cute. And if it suits you, do it. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it doesn't suit every hair sometimes. 
but hey, if you are feeling it, best and listen to anyone, do your thing, sis. Yeah. 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 Now, when it comes to melting hair, if you haven't got this, if you haven't got this wax stick, I don't even know for you. Now, to be fair, it doesn't have to be this brand. This is a random one that I got from Amazon. It's called the Big Bed Head. I think it was like the cheapest one there. I can't lie, I can't remember the price, but you can use any wax. Like I've just combed it backwards a little bit and you can see it's not as flat. But now watch this. Watch me do my magic. Watch, watch. Now watch me whip. Now listen, this part is lifting a bit, but I'm gonna sort it when I like lay it down to lay the edges. Ah, and the secret is to use this side so you pull it. I'm so scared to burn myself, I burn myself all the time. So while it's going backwards, you literally just bring it down and pull backwards. Like, you literally had to think of it like you're ironing. Like. <laughs> And this is what it's looking like right now. Don't mind the colors, colors that you're seeing. Colors, colors, neuno, masa, men, show, win, win, Like, don't, don't listen to it at all. Like, don't watch it at all. Okay, so now I'm gonna touch up these little spaces. Can you see this tiny little bit that's come on, coming off? Listen, a little goes a very long way because you don't want to have too much product sitting on your hair. I have learned that the hard way. You want to have such a nice and simple clean finish. So I used to be that person that would just spray my hair so much, but now I don't do that anymore because we don't, we don't do them things. So I'm about to tie it down and I'll be back. You guys are gonna love this. The whole thing. Yeah. And this has been on my head um, for a while, so we're gonna take it off. And this is what we're dealing with right now. And I'm doing a love heart, okay? A love heart side part. This is my best side, so you go with the best side for you. If your best side is this side, then you can go that way. This is the line that I'm gonna start from, and I'm gonna do a love heart, so like. The M will be this way. I feel like the best way I can do it is show you. So please watch. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit better. This um, love heart will be a little wonky, but that's okay. And as you part, the best thing is to use this to sort of the fly away so you can see a clear part as you part away. You might have to go over it a few times till you get it right because obviously it's not easy. So, and your arms, this is a workout, this is an arm workout, it's gonna get a hench afterwards. <laughs> But anyways, so yeah, here. So I'm a fake it make it. And here we have it. Can you see the love? Do you see the love I'm giving y'all? Yeah. When you get to that, that's fine because we can um deepen the mark with some foundation. And voila! So I'm gonna use this flat iron. With this, you can use as much as you want to, but you gotta be careful because you don't wanna have too much product on your hair. Because you wanna have a nice clean finish. So here we are, here we are. Careful not to burn your face. And then for the back, just need to it's gonna be a good day. Yeah, so I normally would have straightened the whole hair before I started curling, but I don't have time because I need to still um, do my try on haul and yeah. 
I'm a corporate babe. Tomorrow's work day for me, so unfortunately. Now, guys, I've been I've been um, falling in love with is it Ruga Ruja? Cut no, like I've been falling in love with his songs. Like ah, oh. no daily pass, we no day else. Okay, so I'm literally just taking the love heart, separating it. So this is the colour with the, the thin, the barrel is not as, as huge, um, the girth is like quite, as, it's not as thick in it. So I tried to do with this style, like by starting the, the curl from the end of the hair and then like trying to maintain it so it all sticks on this side of the, of the barrel, the bigger side. And then I'm going to be using these rollers. It's my first time using them actually, but I just really want them huge, um, wave, wavy kind of look. So hopefully it works out. But yeah, you can curl your hair with any curl that you've got. I think I've used too much hair. I might have to do it again. Ooh. The tip of the hair start at the big side. And I normally wear my gloves, hold it, and use your hand to roll it upwards so that you're keeping the hair on the thicker side of the barrel. Obviously, if you don't want to do all of this and you have money, then you can get the proper one, which has got the big barrel. But this is the way around it, I think. The longer you hold it, the longer the heat stays. I mean, the curl stays. So. That greatness do my best, man. I'll take it. Do you know what? I'm just gonna straighten it. I'm gonna straighten it. If it must be done, it must be done well. Honestly, I'm not doing anything half-heartedly because of time. Because I gotta give you guys the best. Do you know what I mean? I'll be back when it's ironed. Okay, we're back. Um, so I'm gonna start off. I've just straightened it quickly. I'm gonna start off with the rest of the hair. Uh, I want to focus the curls on the end bit. Step one. We got, I'm not trying to take it too far up. So right here is fine. Let's sit for a few minutes. Do it before it gets cold. Girl. That's it. And I'm gonna do the rest off camera because literally I have to save my battery, guys. So guys, this is what we're looking like right now. I'm gonna wait a few minutes and then I'm gonna take them down and then we should be done. Like, right guys, so here's the big reveal. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, that looks nice. Right, that looks nice. It's not bad, you know. Okay. Right, yeah, so it's giving the loose curls. It is. I'm actually so scared to do the top because that's the most important thing for the whole entire look. If that flops, everything's flopped, but my god never flops ah bro, bro i took this off on tiktok look at this bounce let's do the second one don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it come on baby don't play with it listen don't play Woo! guys look at the bounce okay yeah you need to do this for babe well do it for yourself then do it for Bay, okay? If you've got Bay, God, please help my friends and everyone else to get Bays. In Jesus' name, amen. But that's how I wanted it, so that's fine. What I'm gonna do um, to finalize the look is literally sort out this lace to make it look a bit better. And then obviously with the love heart, I'm gonna use my concealer to make it very much obvious. All right guys, so I'm using my foundation brush to literally go in on these sides just to cover up these extra white bits. 
You can add a bit more foundation if you wish, but I literally just use whatever's left over from my makeup brush. And I think that's that does it. I think that does it still. That really, really does it for me. And then I've taken a small brush, this really tiny one, and then I pick up the concealer. Not the brightest one, this one is in the shade Chestnut. So I take that and then I literally just brighten up the pattern because obviously the whole point of this whole thing was to show off that we have the love heart in our head. I don't know if you can see, but yeah. This is the love heart. So we gotta show off. That's the love heart. And I'm just gonna go over one last time with my hot comb. Curls, I almost forgot about the curls in here. I'm not trying to lose these. We worked hard for them as well. But yeah, guys, like, I feel like it's been a successful day. So this is the final look. Do you guys love it? I absolutely adore it. Like, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> anyway. Step one. Wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing.